In this video, I show you how to connect to a Linux server without needing to type a password. Additionally, you'll learn how to create a new user and give him root privileges. Moreover, at the end of this video, you will find out how to even simplify this process. No bullshit, just pure knowledge, so grab a cup of coffee and let's get started. First, to log in to your Linux server via SSH without typing a password, you need to generate an SSH keeper. Ensure the SSH server is running on your Linux machine. Open SSH is a great choice. As you can see, it's already running on my machine. You should see the SSHD process. Let's start by creating a new user for this tutorial. I'll switch to root user using sudo su and then execute. Add user kabuto. Here I'm just making everything default and proceed with the process. To verify if the user was added correctly, I will list the content of the etc password file and filter it for the user Kabuto. Next, to give the user Kabuto root privileges, I need to add this user to the sudo group. Now, this user can install or edit system files. I'll switch now to user Kabuto. In the home directory of Kabuto, I need to create a new SSH directory where the SSH public key will be stored. Next, I log out from this machine. On my personal computer, I generate an SSH keeper using the SSH keygen command. This command generates a public key and a private key. The private key must be kept secure, while the public key can be shared. Here is how it works. Imagine if you want someone to send you an encrypted message. You share your public key with them so they can encode the message, but only you can decode it using your private key. This is similar to SSH authentication. Use the following command to generate a keeper. Choose RSA or DSA as the algorithm. RSA and DSA are two algorithms you can use. RSA is widely used because it's generally considered more secure and versatile. DSA, while also secure, has limitations in terms of key length and is often slower. Specify the location where the keeper should be placed. Typically, this will be in the SSH directory of your home folder. After generating the keys, navigate to the SSH folder to see the public and private keys. Now, I need to send my public key to the Linux machine where I want to log in without the password. Instead of using scp command and manually editing files there, I can use a combination of cat and ssh commands. Let's check if I can connect to my Linux server without typing a password. As you can see, it works perfectly. Moreover, let me show you how to use aliases to connect to a Linux machine even more easily. When managing multiple Linux servers, aliases can be very helpful. To create an alias, create a config file in the SSH directory on your client machine. Add the following lines. And save the file and check if it works. And that's it for this video. Now, you know how to create users in the Linux system, give them root permissions, generate an SSH keeper and log in to the server without typing a password. Additionally, you know how to create an alias to simplify the connection process even more. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.